What are you doing? What is happening, though? Oh, yeah, I think I got shot by at least six people all at the same time then. It was like the end of Red Dead Redemption. Huh? It's good that if you run out of ammo and you have stopping car rounds and you load them up and get an extra knife and throw it. Mm. Card hack! Hey guys, it's uh, Stripey Duck back with another uh, card tip video. Uh, if you run out of ammo on any weapon, and uh, you have power. and you have stopping power, you uh, uh, you get you get another mag of ammo. Um, so if you're in you like run out of um, run out of ammo, then you can always use the stopping power. Um, the stopping power is um, not always available, but when you have it available, you can use it as a uh, as an extra magazine in your weapon uh, if you run out. You can use it when you have ammo, but uh, honestly, probably uh, th well for this chip to work, you have to use it when. Um, when you run out of uh, ammo. Uh, yeah, so comment below uh, if you have any more tips. This is one I thought of myself. Um, I love the game. It's very <laughs> fun. Uh, so yeah, if you play it, uh, well, uh, you, you you know what I mean. It's Uh, I have another, uh, this is Unicorn Park's tips to Call of Duty Warzone for beginners. So today, I have a new tip for you. Um, when you're running and you have a weapon, uh, when you fire your weapon, uh, it's not too accurate, but if you actually hold down the left trigger, it actually looks down the side of the weapon. Uh, <laughs> doing this is just a lot more accurate. Uh, it's quite nice. I don't think many people really know about it yet. So it does definitely give you any advantage when uh, when you when you see someone. I find it very helpful with uh, uh, snipers. Because before, when I'm on a building and I see someone quite far away, I I usually shoot at them, but the bullet seems to seems to go ping off into space. So do it. Doing this will actually improve your game. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have any combat tips, comment down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh. This was weird about that voice in the background now. I was getting, re I, I ended up getting really used to that <laughs> sound. It's like going off. I actually kind of felt like I was watching a YouTube video. Cause I, <laughs> cause I like, I watch loads of loads of random videos mate honestly so like when i'm when i'm playing sometimes a random weird video like that will start playing and i'll just sit there listening to it okay i've got another one for you then if it's if it's coming right. you know um, hey guys it's unicorn park here um back with another call of duty uh, warzone tip tutorial uh, so everyone knows you can get a sticker on the game, but did you know that this uh, sticker, when when you throw it, can actually explode? Uh, not many people know this. Uh, all you have to do is go into the uh, in when you're uh, making your loadout, go on to uh, lethal, and it's called C4. 
Uh, so this sticker, uh, I, I used to, when I first started, just putting this sticker everywhere, just as like a calling sign, uh, as if like I killed someone. But then I actually realized, if you press the button to throw the sticker again, it blows up. Um, quite a big explosion, I think I've got a kill from it before. <laughs> and... Uh, so uh, yeah, and it could be quite helpful because people just see a sticker on the floor and don't realize that it's going to explode. <laughs> uh, so that's another uh, uh, tip video. Oh, Hope crash. everyone enjoyed it. Uh, enjoy. Um, make sure to use this one. And um, you might get some kills. Comment, um, comment down below if you do have another, if you have any tips that you'd like to share uh, uh, to help your gameplay. I know uh, I certainly need it. Um, I've, I've played quite a lot of Warzone, but only one uh, once uh, by accident. So. Um, yeah, enjoy. Uh, I'll be back uh, soon with another another video. Okay. Oh shit! Uh, hello YouTube. Uh, you uh, unicorn back at Unicorn Park, back with another uh, Call of Duty uh, Warz Warzone uh, multiplayer uh, tip guide for Call of Duty <laughs> Warzone. Uh, this one is actually, uh, I didn't come up with this one, this is a user submitted uh, tip. The user is called Anon eight one eight nine seven five two one. So something they pointed out was when you're firing your weapon. <laughs> sometimes it will run out of ammo, <laughs> and yeah, uh, you gotta. But because when you gotta, you wait for it to run out completely, your gun will reload automatically. Uh, but what uh, Anon picked uh, picked up was that if you uh, have five bullets left in your magazine, you can actually press the square button, uh, or if your Xbox the X button and your gun will actually reload. This gives you the advantage uh, when playing <laughs> because you could be nearly about to run out of ammo but then you think oh I could reload this now and uh, then if you see someone, you can shoot them. Okay. Uh, you're, I know you're thinking this is quite a short video, uh, but don't worry. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I have another. Uh, I have another user uh, submitted tip by uh, someone who you can actually see on the opposite team now of this gameplay called. Artistic Clive, he um, he has submitted a video. Uh, sorry, uh, I do apologize. I did not mean to say video. Uh, he has submitted a tip when playing Call of Duty. Um, when uh, you're when 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 when, uh, when you're on online. And you're playing a match. There is actually an easy way to uh, to identify who's who. 
Um, <laughs> so some, you, you might find that you're playing and then you're shooting people, but all they do is they like shout at you. They say things like, uh, watch your fire, um, stop shooting. Um, these <laughs> people are actually on your team. Um, so usually you would see someone in game, bring up the scorecard, look up the name of the person you're looking at, make sure that they're on your team or not. Uh, if they're not on your team, then you would uh, then you would obviously shoot them. Um, but what uh, Autistic Clive has pointed out is that when you're looking at them, their names, the color of their names actually determine the team they're on. <laughs> so if they are red, remember that, or red, it means that they're actually on the enemy team. And, um, so that's just, yeah, I've, since finding that out, I've used it quite a bit. Now, I, I don't have to open the scorecard, and I get, now I get at least six, seven kills per match, opposed to, uh, <laughs> like one, because I could never understand how people would check my name so quickly. <laughs> and then there's me who's taking two minutes out of the game to find out so it's really helpful this one is someone th the other one not so important but this one definitely hold on to that information it's uh it's 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 good to hold on to yeah. uh, so that was another youtube uh, call of duty uh, video. I hope you did enjoy. Please uh, like. I want to see if I can get to four likes uh, on a video. And as always, comment down below if you do have any suggestions uh, for any any videos, uh, like future videos, and they'll be going up on this channel, Unicorn's uh, Call of Duty Warzone tips and tricks. <laughs> like, for example, the one when you were talking about the C4 and this, like, I can picture like, the, the online video being like a stream of me playing in there. <laughs> and like, when you're trying to demonstrate like the C4 thing, it's constantly getting killed. <laughs> 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 well, just throwing it and not doing anything with it. <laughs> just, yeah. look, just looking at it.